So maybe you just reached level 80 or boosted a character, and now you're curious what you should be doing in order to gear up as quickly as possible. Today I'll share all the different steps that I did to ensure I could also clear all the raids on 10 and 25 man mode. Yeah, normal mode, not heroic mode. But I also ended up with some decent gear, I joined no gold to keep you runs, I got no boosts. And all of this I achieved with less than 2 days playtime at level 80. The first thing you should do is to change your hearthstone to Dalaran, as this will be the CD you will be going to all the time. Next up, make sure to respec into the build you would like to play. Is it going to be DPS, tank or healer? And then focus on purchasing the different glyphs you need. These will improve your character's performance by a huge amount. All you just do is to look up a guide for your specific class and in there you can easily see what glyphs you need to purchase. If you just boosted your character to level 80, then make sure to fix your action bars, key bindings, macros and of course drag down all the abilities you're going to need. Next up, you're pretty much also ready to head into your first heroic. Yeah, even as a fresh level 80, you can easily head into a heroic, maybe not doing this as a healer or a tank, but you will definitely be fine as a DPS. The reason why you should prioritize doing heroics in the beginning is because you will get the currency Emblems of Triumph. Emblems you can use to purchase either tier 9 gear or even 245 item level gear. Yeah, these items can definitely help you gear up so quickly and that's why you should prioritize doing this. For those of you that would much rather like to heal or DPS in the beginning, then you should head to the auction house and look for cheap epic items. Yeah, there should be plenty of these. What I did myself was just to log on to my main character and send a bit of gold. Yeah, 3000 gold will honestly get you far in the beginning. I know you could also just purchase yourself a WoW token, but then again, if you have been playing Classic for a long time, then you don't really need this. Of course, if you started this game in order to prepare for Cataclysm, then you could purchase this to catch up even quicker. For those of you with a lot of gold, you could just purchase yourself items from ICC. This will boost your item level a lot quicker, but it's also quite expensive. If you don't have a lot of gold, you can just purchase yourself epic items in between around 100 to 500 gold. In fact, you could also look for rare items, these are a lot cheaper, and if it's still going to be a big upgrade, why not spend your gold on this? At this point, it was also time for me to do my very first heroic, so I equipped my newly purchased items and went into Utgard Keep. To my surprise, most people are honestly so geared, yeah, even on a normal heroic. And the good thing is that when you're doing a random heroic, then people are not asking for your gear score. Unlike when the random dungeon finder wasn't introduced into the game, it was also a lot more difficult to get invited as a fresh level 80 character. But the good thing is that this is no longer a problem. For those of you that only has the possibility to play as a DPS, then their queue times is usually in between 10 to 15 minutes. However, if you have the possibility to either sign up as a tank or a healer, then I would highly recommend you to do this. That way your queue time will be in between 1 to 5 minutes. Yeah, sometimes even instant. And don't worry, as long as it's just a normal heroic, then you should easily be able to tank or heal these. By the way, remember to also get a faction specific tab out. If you have boosted your character, you might have to go to the open world and do a bit of questing before you can purchase these, as they require you to be friendly with the faction. But if you leveled up your character to 80, you should be able to purchase these right away. For those of you that already have a main character, then you can use this to gear up your old character a lot quicker, and this can be done in many different ways. For example, purchasing the different enchants you can send between your characters, this is going to save you a lot of time. For those of you with leftover emblems of thrust and emblems of triumph, you can use these to purchase materials that will be needed if you wish to craft high level epic items. With your emblems of thrust you can purchase primordial serenite, and with emblems of triumph you can purchase crusade orbs. So did this help me a lot? It definitely did. I crafted myself three different epic items, or well, I found a letter worker, and because I didn't purchase the epic items on the auction house, then I saved a ton of gold. To my surprise, I ended up paying less than 2000 gold for all of these items. It were, of course, because I also had the primordial serenites and crusader orbs. I ended up saving more than 10,000 gold because of this, and all of the sudden my gear were also good enough to start raiding. But then again, was my gear really that great? Nah, not really, and I felt like I had to do more heroics before I signed up for a raid, else I was just going to get carried, or well, lower the performance of our group. You should also remember to pick up the two different daily heroic quests, and also the weekly raid quest. 
The weekly raid quests are so easy to do, and also the daily heroic quest. But there's even a second heroic quest. This requires you to do the heroic on gamma difficulty, something you're probably not capable of doing right now, also because your item level is not high enough. The weekly quest will give you 10 emblems of thrust and 5 emblems of triumph, and the normal heroic quest is going to reward you 2 emblems of thrust and a gamma 3. The good thing about the weekly raid quest is that it's mainly going to be the first or second boss in the raid that you have to slay, and on top of this it's not going to be the highest content in the game, it's going to be some of the first raids that was introduced in Wrath of the Lich King, so it's going to be so easy to do, and there's many people looking for these. At this point, you should also have got yourself quite a few emblems of triumph. These you can either use to purchase items in Dalaran, or you can head to the Archon Tournament in Ice Crown. There's one thing you gotta be aware of. Tier 9 items is also going to be 232 item level equipment, where if you purchase the other things that is also a bit more expensive, then you're going to get yourself level 245 item level equipment. Next up, you just gotta continue to spam dungeons, and of course also remember to do your daily heroic for your emblems of frost. But don't worry, there's yet another thing you can also do every single day. Sign up for the Battle for Windowgrasp. This is a PvP event that happens every 3 hours, and you can do it once. The battle begins at 3, 6, 9, 12 am and pm, and you have a 30 minutes window to sign up. In here, you will be gaining a lot of honor, and every single week you can also do 5 quests that reward you a lot of additional honor and Stonekeeper Shards. And talking about Stonekeeper Shards and the Windergrass marks you will gain in here, these you can also use on your main character to purchase these items that rewards you 2000 honor. So you can send them to your old character and instantly gain a lot of honor. How come this is so important? Well, with the honor you can head to Area 52 in Netherstorm. This is Burning Crusade content. And here, there's going to be an NPC where you can purchase various gladiator items. I know this is gladiator items with resilience, and this is not really going to be important in PvE, but then again, it's item level 238 equipment. These items will boost your overall item level by a huge amount, and the various weapons can easily be purchased after one or two battles, depending if you also have the quest. And remember, you could send the items to boost your honor by a huge amount, so you can purchase these instantly when you reach level 80. I know a lot of you might dislike PvP gear in PvE, but then again, right now it's going to be important to boost your item level, so you can also do heroics on beta difficulty to do yet another daily heroic quest for 3 emblems of frost. What you also gotta know is that in Stormwind City as an Alliance player and in Okruma as a Horde player, you can purchase Wrathful Gladiator items. These are 264 item level equipment, but they're also a lot more expensive compared to the Furious Gladiator items, where you could get 3 or 4 of these items for the same price as a Raffle Gladiator piece. What you should also do is to head into the Raid Vault of Agaron. This you can enter after the battle for Windowgrasp is over, and people are mainly just killing this boss, because this is where you can get tier 10 items, but also Raffle and Relentless Gladiator pieces. Because this is a 10 man raid, then you could also do it as a class specific run, as there's 10 classes in the game. So if I were to only do it in the raid, I would also be guaranteed the loot, if it was of course for my class. On 25 man mode, you usually do this as a specialization run, as a druid does for example a specialization for tanking, healing and DPS. In my case, I play as a Feral Druid, there's also a Boomkin and a Restoration Druid. So if a Feral item drops, then I will also be guaranteed the loot. From here, you want to continue doing random heroics, and at this point, you probably also have decent enough gear to start doing these on Gamma difficulty. When you manage to get into Gammas, you're also going to be able to do the new ICC heroics. Yeah, where you can get way better items and also do quests that reward you with Emblems of Frost. So this is pretty mandatory to do the moment you can enter these. And I have to be honest, it wasn't too difficult. And what I like a lot is that when you do the gamma, you will complete both of the daily dungeon quests. So you do one dungeon and you're going to be rewarded with 5 Emblems of Frost. Of course, only once every day. By this point, it was also so much easier for me to gear up. Every time there were an item I needed, it was also a level 223 item, I got a lot of triumphs, and another thing, when you do things on Gamma, you're going to get another currency you can use in Dalaran. The Defiler Scourge Stone. Every single boss you kill in a Gamma dungeon will reward you with one of these. So usually you get around 3 or 4 of these for every heroic you do. 
and this allowed you to purchase items that were dropping in Trial of the Crusader, the 25-man version of this raid from tier 9 content. By repeating the daily dungeons for a couple of days, I also had enough emblems of frost to purchase a new idol, an idol you can purchase at this winter in Dalaran City. On top of this, there's also many other items that is equal to what you can get in the normal version of ICC 25 men. Now I'm definitely ready to start raiding, but first I had to enchant and gem my items just to improve my character's performance as much as possible. And yeah, because I was a bit greedy, I just went with blue gems. You could of course just purchase epic gems if you have a lot of gold. But as of right now, because it's not the best gear I have, then I don't want to spend the gold. As I was waiting for ICC group to start, then I went into Nuxia's lair just to see if I had decent enough DPS, but also to get a bit of gear. And I have to be honest, this is not worth the time. The reason for this is because when you kill the different bosses, you're going to be gaining in between one to two emblems even when you do next rammers. And I know you can clear this raid quite fast, but the loot in here are also awful. It's gonna be way better just to continue signing up for random dungeons as you're waiting for an ICC to begin. All right, so I managed to get into an ICC 25 man group and we did most bosses on normal mode beside the first one and the gunship that we did on heroic. This is to get even better loot, also because the loot you get in 25 man mode is better than 10 man. What we also gotta remember is that the raid has been out for a long time now, so most people know every single tactic and are also geared. Make sure to also pay attention to any quest in the raid. Sometimes you can find some of these that rewards you with a bag that contains 5 emblems of thrust and sometimes even an epic gem. It seems like there's only going to be one of these quests for every raid you do, so every week you can get two of these quests, one on 10 men and one on 25 men. When you kill the trash enemies, but also the raid encounters, you will be gaining reputation with this fraction. And upon reaching friendly, you can now unlock a ring. You can choose this at the beginning of the raid, and you can continue to upgrade this as you reach honored, revered, and exalted. Luckily, we managed to clear all of ICC on normal mode. This was of course with a puck. But the most important thing was that I got an achievement and I now refreshed all the different tactics. I felt like it was time for me to sign up for a guild and try to do this raid on 10 man mode, hopefully even some encounters on heroic mode. I ended up finding a guild that was in need of a feral druid. I know my DPS wasn't too great and the same with my gear, but the good thing is that these guys were also not fully progressed in heroic mode, so I could progress with them. I guess I was pretty lucky, because I ended up winning this trinket, and even got myself a new weapon. I also went into the most recent raid in Wrath of the Lich King, Ruby Santum. Here you can get items that is pretty much equal to ICC, in some cases even better. So in pretty much 2 days of playtime at level 80, I've managed to clear all the different raids. Of course not in heroic mode, this is something that I'm currently progressing on as I'm recording this video. I didn't expect to be able to gear up so quickly, but I'm glad it was a possibility. Also because I had to start this new druid, as it will be my new main in Cataclysm. And talking about Cataclysm, if you would like to see videos and guides about that expansion anytime soon, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you get notified when I post the next video.